Hello everyone, this is Prafal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to review Flash's gouache, which were recently launched and they are creating quite a buzz among the artists because they were launched at a very affordable price that is of Rs. 6.99, which is quite a good amount to purchase your first gouache set. So in this video, I'm going to review the brand new set. I will be unboxing it. We'll be seeing their swatches. I already have made one artwork uh, with the same. We'll be seeing their properties and its advantages and disadvantages. So let's start the video uh, with my honest review of flash gouache paints. So let's start the video. So the paints are very well intact and they come with a seal above the every bottle which protects the color to leak and to dry easily. The packaging is very sturdy and the shades are very vibrant. Now let's have a look at the swatches of all these shades. So after doing these swatches, we can see that a few colors are really opaque, such as turquoise green, red, the crimson red. But at the same time, few colors are not very opaque and they are translucent, which are the lighter shades. That is obviously the case with most of the gouache. But in this one also, the colors are very diluted, such as parrot green, lemon green, brilliant purple. But the same can be compensated by adding an additional layer. Now let's have a look at all the properties of Flash's gouache with the help of this painting. I've shot a few videos while painting this to explain the qualities of the same. So let's look at those step by step. So the first property being the consistency of the color, that is you can directly use the color without applying water to the same or without mixing water to the same. A few colors are very opaque, but applying a second layer like I'm doing in the artwork can be useful for getting a good amount of op op opacity. Then third is the paints can be easily diluted once they dry. They do not cause any cracks in the medium. And if you want to use them for detailing or highlights, I would recommend you to use directly the paint without adding any water in the same. Now coming to the major part, the advantages and disadvantages of having this gouache or not having this gouache and whether you should purchase it or not. So let's start with the plus points of the same. First thing is the packaging. It's very sturdy uh, if you see this package. And then come then the bottles of these are very, very useful because if these were in tubes, the tubes would have been deteriorated or spoiled after a few uses. But since these are in a bottle, they can be properly sealed. And as you can see, they came uh, properly sealed like this. So I didn't prefer to remove the seal because that would prevent my color from drying. If you remove the seal, they might dry as well. But since the consistency of the color is also good, like you need not use much water in the same. That is one of the biggest advantage. And they can give you a really nice look by without adding, adding much water because when you're using gouache, you always worry about the water to paint ratio, which is uh, very confusing for a lot of artists. So for this one, you need not worry about the same. And then coming to the blending ability, which is amazing, super amazing. I would give full points for the blending ability. Now coming to the disadvantages, it is only that the colors are less pigmented. A few colors are highly pigmented, no doubt, but a few colors are less pigmented, which degrades the quality of certain paints or when you're doing your artwork, it takes more time because you have to add additional layers. That is the only one, one of my concerns. So if you are a beginner who are looking for affordable gouache, you can definitely go and purchase it. But if you are someone uh, who already is a pro in gouache and are using other brands, I would not recommend you to switch to this one because they might be like I have talked with the brand and they told that they will be improving on the same. So you can wait for a certain amount of time until they get improvements in their pigment quality. So overall, I would give these gouache 8 out of 10. They didn't meet my expectation completely, but they were far amazing uh, coming to the packaging and the shades which they offered with such an affordable price. So if you're someone who is just starting out with working with gouache, you can definitely go ahead and try these out because they will offer you a wide range of shades to work with and you need not worry about the water to paint ratio. So yeah, that's all about. Now stay tuned for a detailed review of all four gouache which I have. That is Brustro versus Neva Palette versus Flash versus PBO. And I will be dropping that video soon. Till then, you can check out the other videos which are there on my channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.